Hello, my humans. Or maybe not mine. I don't know. I'm wearing this thing and it's like footy pajamas, but it's not. And it's so cool and I love it because it's super warm and comfortable. And yeah, so um, this week, actually yesterday, was the first time I ever got my blood drawn or tried to get my blood drawn. And I was like, wow, this sounds like a great story time video. So... I'm going to do a video about it. So, um, I've never had my blood drawn before, including now, because it didn't work, but we'll find about how that happened later. So when I heard about there being a blood drive, I was like, hey, I'm 16. That means I'm old enough to do this. Um, and so first I had to fill out like a little sheet with my parents' signature because I'm 16 and so, you know, you gotta make sure of all of that, like your parents are fine with it and everything. So I got that filled out and um, then uh, I was looking and I was like, what do you gotta eat beforehand? Because you have to make sure that, you know, your blood is nice and good and fresh for all those people who are gonna need it. And they was like recommended eating things high in iron. So I ate a bunch of spinach which is not a hardship for me because I do like spinach. But I ate a bunch of spinach and I tried to eat more like meat type of things uh, right before that happens. Um, another thing you should do is hydrate, which I did drink more than I usually do. But since I'm usually extremely dehydrated, that wasn't enough. But, you know, learning processes. Mm -hmm. So the day of came down and I was like, Okay, because I thought what was going to happen is that a, either they were just going to take it right out right away or they were going to like test your blood and then do it right away. And my mom has had blood drawn a lot and she never told me about all these processes that happened beforehand. So now I'm going to tell you about them because there's a lot. So first I went into a desk and they were like, have you had done it? Have you gotten your blood drawn before or no? And I was like, no. So they had me fill out this little orange piece of paper and then I sat on this bench and I waited until there was someone at a computer who was not busy, like until it was my turn, which was probably like 15 to 20 minutes. And then uh, she took my piece of paper and that I just filled out. She took the permission slip from my mom and she took a photo ID and she like ran them through a computer. And then she gave me this little sheet to make sure that my name and my address and stuff were correct. And she also gave me another piece of paper. And so one of the pieces of paper was where they were going to write um, all my vitals on so that my parents could see and that I could take home. And this other piece of paper is where they were going to write, um, I don't remember what else. But anyhow, so then I waited for a little bit more. And then I went out to a room where they everything was happening in. And on the back of the piece of paper that wasn't for me to take home were all these questions like, relating to stuff that could have tainted your blood like um have you been in contact with any needles recently like hospital needles that weren't like you know supposed to be for you have you gotten any shots in the past eight weeks at all uh um are you pregnant <laughs> are you going to be pregnant soon that sort of thing uh and like checklist of drugs that you could possibly be on that would be bad for your blood to be given to other people and that sort of thing and um, so I filled that out and um, then you go and sit and wait in the middle of the line until they call your name and take you back and do like a mini physical. And so for the physical, they went over everything I wrote down. And then they asked me a few questions again that had been on there just to double check. Um, and then what she did was, let's see, she um, asked for my height and my weight, wrote that down on there. And then she highlighted it because um, she was like, just make sure because apparently uh, because of what I weigh they needed to take less than they would normally take like they could still take some but they needed to take a little bit less because my weight is I guess lower than what they want I know that I have a perfect BMI but I guess I'm on the lower side of perfect so um then so they asked for my height and weight and that and then they had uh they took my blood pressure and that was good. I don't, I think I gave the paper to my mom and she just put it in like a file, but my, that's fine. And then they took my, um, they pricked my finger and it was, I don't think, can you still see the hole in it? 
I'm not flipping you off, I promise. But you can't really see the hole in it, but it's like right there ish. So they, it's like this little thing, and they like, it's a little box with a needle in it, and they like stab your finger, and then they squeeze the blood out, and they take some of it off with a cotton swab and then they have this little cool little glass sort of square with a hole in it and then they stick it up and it sucks the blood into the square thing and then they can put the square thing in the machine and it'll test and it tests your iron to make sure basically that you're not anemic so I'm a 13.4 and healthy is in between 11 and 18 so I was all good and I was a little worried about that because I use MFP and so I was going back to check and see like how much iron that I've eaten since I've started recording stuff and I almost never eat like the required daily limit so <laughs> that's nice but I'm not anemic so that's that's good so I passed that and I was a little nervous that I wouldn't pass that so then I just waited until they had a bed open and also she checked my arms to see which one would have the best blood vessels and she was like checking this one and she was like give me the other one and so she checked that one and she was like I guess we have to go with this one because she was trying to, like, I guess mine are just not easy to find. Anyhow, so uh, I waited another while, and I had signed up to go during my lunch break, so I ate some of my lunch, and then they called me, and so then I sat on a table, and I waited for about 10 minutes while the nurse uh, helped the person who was on the table next to me. And then she started hooking up, like, the stuff, but she didn't put anything in my arm. Then she sort of, like, she cleaned off the spot, and then sort of like feeling around and trying to get it ready uh, for putting the thing in and then she had a really hard time trying to find a vein and then when she actually did she put the needle in and it didn't work. Uh, her description of it was that the vein would like fill up like this but then whenever her needle would get into it it would flatten out really quick so that she couldn't actually get any blood out of it. And she did try like three or four different times. So I do have a hole in my arm. And that you should be able to see right there. I have a hole in my arm. This is proof I did try. I tried really hard. Uh, but she couldn't actually get anything out. And she said that it was probably from dehydration. Which is true. But also my mom just has really bad veins. And they have the same sort of problem even when she's super hydrated. That it doesn't really work. And so I wasn't super surprised that that happened, but I was a little bit disappointed because I had been I had changed my diet and like eaten a lot of different things, and so then I had like the changes that come with that, or so it was kind of annoying. But other than that, like it was alright. And they gave me free juice and a little squeeze ball, even though I didn't give them blood. So that was nice of them. And I like I wish I could have given it, but like it didn't come out. And I didn't want to waste her time, so I was like, that, that's fine. And uh, she also didn't want to stab me anymore since she had to. So uh, my arm kind of hurts, but I'm not, like, that's kind of normal. That's, that's what it's supposed to do. Like, right, like, because I poked it. That's why it hurts, because I just poked it. Um, and, yeah, so that was my experience trying to give blood. And I highly recommend and support the giving of blood to people who don't have enough or who need it. Like, definitely donate blood. <laughs> Uh, I guess my body is just like, hey, but we want to keep it. Why are you doing this? So, yeah. Uh, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please donate blood if you can because some of us who try to can't and we want to help. So, yeah, you do it. Uh, the girl next to me had a whole pound, which was like a pint, uh, taken out. And the nurse was like, oh yeah, you have six to eight pints, so we only take one and then that's okay. It's like changing the oil in a car. And I was like, interesting. So with me, I don't know how much they would have taken, probably half that. Uh, but interesting, interesting, yeah. So, for those of you who didn't know what it was like to give blood, that's what it's like. Um, go do it <laughs> if you can I know that my school does blood drives in the winter and the spring. Uh, I don't know if people who aren't students are allowed to give blood, but, you know, look for them in your area. A lot of places do them. Uh, yeah. So, thanks so much for watching, and I will see you guys all later. Bye-bye.